we go. Sometime in the last two weeks, it started getting darker a lot earlier. Oh my gosh, I feel like we've been eating pizza and ice cream for the last two weeks. We haven't worked out or gone running once. This is gonna be a tough transition. Ah, uh, did not feel like filming today, did not feel like lifting today. My back hurts. I feel like a whiny bit. Sorry, Mom. Getting ready to drink some Stump Town out of our two Stump Town mugs. And eat some cinnamon rolls that are left over that I made yesterday for Seven's birthday. And you probably want some of those too, huh? You want some of that? All right, come here. Okay, I'll put it in your mouth. Mmm. And just when things start to get a little bit situated, it's time for Hebrew lesson. First time in two weeks. Are you ready for this? No. Plans are all back. <laughs> I like that face. Yeah. 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 Hey, Rainier. Look at Dada. You do that? Like. Uh. Okay, even loud, obnoxious people who are so annoyingly loud, they're very loud, but you can hear them. Okay, so again, I don't care if it's obnoxiously loud in that my ears are bleeding. I just want you to play and not stop. Okay? The Do kids are learning this rap song that we've been listening to as a family. They're trying to learn how to all play it together on various instruments. Say goodbye. You can give it one last kiss. Snuggle, Aww. snuggle. Wow, snuggle, you're like snuggle. ready to do this. Or how do you snuggle, feel? Snuggle. I want to know how you feel about it. Yeah. There we go. Whoa, that's like two years worth right there. Oh, that's beautiful. What's going on? Hmm. What's going on? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right, should I keep that? I no, this is all gone. That was a joke. Okay, I kind of regret that. Hmm. <laughs> what do you guys think? <laughs> She's gonna grow again. What did Dada do, baby? <laughs> oh, oh, don't touch, don't touch. Don't, yeah, don't touch. All right, let's go see what Cammy thinks. All right, you ready, Cammy? Don't look. You're not supposed to look. Close your eyes. <laughs> Close your eyes. <laughs> That's crazy. You should have seen uh, her little mustache. She looks like Papa. So different. You want a piece of this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, we're filming right now. <laughs> Hang on, there's hair everywhere. Don't get it. You look so different. You want to pet it? Oh, look at that. I'm gonna it. Oh, I kind of messed it already. <laughs> Uh, 
I don't really want to throw it away. Goodbye. You ready for our first kiss? Yeah. The whole cutting the beard thing was really kind of funny how it happened. Yesterday, I just had this moment where I looked at Ben and I said, I think I want you to cut your beard. I hesitated to say that because I knew that as soon as I said that, it was like a done deal because that's just how Ben operates. And it's one of the things that I actually really appreciate about him. It was enough of a reason for him to uh, shave it off just because I wanted him to. And then when he was actually doing it, I had this like mixture of like sadness and excitement all at the same time. I think the beard represented a lot of what we've gone through the last year and a half. But I was excited to see his face again, <laughs> literally. I think it was a big step for him emotionally. He decided to grow out his hair and his beard when we started to go to counseling and we started going through a lot of transformation. For both of us, I think it signifies a starting of a new season. Sometimes you don't even know you're starting one until you already started it. I look like an underage minor smoking a cigar. Uh, I've been suffering from some sort of depression. It's a little dramatic, but I can't tell if it's just like a vacation hangover. I feel like the rug got pulled out from underneath me and I don't even know which way is up anymore. We got back Friday night late. Saturday we had a good Shabbat. And then Sunday we hit the ground running because Seven turned 13. This is our third teenager, our first boy to turn 13, it like came out of nowhere. I feel like with the two girls, I had a lot of time to like think about it and prepare. Yeah, I feel that way too. Dude, this like knocked me on my ass. I was just like, what? I was not ready for it. So we celebrated on Sunday and, and what that looked like for us was we asked him what he wanted for breakfast and he wanted cinnamon rolls. So I made cinnamon rolls, and then I took them out to lunch. And before that, the kids did some things like uh, Felia made him uh, like a candy trail from his bed when he woke up. Then we had grilled cheese for dinner. What he chose, and mac macaroni and cheese, and kale chips. <laughs> and, and nice, this nice, well he didn't care if it was nice, but we cared root beer and cream soda and cherry soda. And then we, uh, one of our birthday traditions is to sit around and we share stories about the person or offer something encouraging. So we did that. But this, this birthday is really unique for us because 13 is the age that we've chosen to celebrate like adulthood. It's kind of this coming of age thing. We, we think it's important to have a time period when we start to treat them like adults instead of this super long transitionary thing. One of the big changes we've made with the other two and that we initiated starting yesterday was Seven now gets to eat whatever he wants. We're pretty tight, like controlled with food around here. I think sugar, too much of it is really bad for you and there's so much of it around that younger kids don't have enough self-control to be able to protect themselves, so we monitor things pretty heavily, with a few exceptions. We eat sugar as a family, but once they turn 13, it's like, you get to eat whatever you want, whenever you want, with a few exceptions, with like, you know, there are like house rules. If you're gonna join our meal, you can't bring cotton candy to it. Like, we don't even do that as the older. Or you can't just eat our sweets whenever you want. But with your own money, you can go down and buy 18 bags of Sour Patch Kids and eat them five minutes before dinner if you want. That's actually been a really big deal to us. I, I think that rule, it's changed how we view the previous 13 years mm -hmm. in a way. It's really kind of nice because it's not saying sugar is bad or it's not saying you can't 
you know, that's always going to be our role. Mm -hmm. But it is saying, hey, there's a certain point where we have 13 years to prepare you to make good decisions, and then we actually have to let go. And you need to, like, experience life on your own terms and learn from your own mistakes. Yeah, and you're gonna make bad decisions, you're gonna have some stomach aches, and we want you to do it in our house, we wanna be there with you, and we have to like, kinda like bite our tongue sometimes and hold back and watch it happen. But I've been really happy with how I've seen it go down with the older two. And then we gave him a Saddleback leather bag. This is the bag I gave him. It's like the exact same model as mine, but a different color. These are like super expensive bags with a hundred year warranty. Uh, that is one of our favorite brands. And this is a bag that is, their slogan is, they'll fight over it when you're dead. <laughs> so this is what we gave him yesterday. And we wanted to give him something that's like gonna take him into his adulthood, that he's going to be able to, uh, you know, appreciate for a lot of years. When he got it, he said, this is so big, but I reminded him that he's only going to get bigger and become um, a man. And so I saw this bag right next to Ben's bag today, and I was like, oh, that's cool. I felt like that was symbolic of that he's one day is gonna become a man like you. We've done those bags with Dev and Eden, so it's become a bit of a tradition of ours. Yesterday was just our family, but we have like, I think we're gonna do like a group party coming up this weekend. And that's been a really good thing because there's always been this question of like, who to invite? Because I, I really want these parties to be very personal. Sometimes I don't feel comfortable with other people there to be able to share the types of things that are really like on my heart. So I don't know, I think that was a suggestion we got from our therapist where he was just like, why don't you plant two parties? One for everyone else? And oh really? I, didn't I know. think so. And then, you know, have your own. And I was like, oh okay, that actually helps me out. So we're gonna have like an open invite, more of Seven's friends at this Saturday. And we had kind of our closer family intimate setting. And then the big thing we do for our 13th birthday is I let the kids kind of plan a trip to wherever they want to go in the world. And Seven wants to go someplace with snow, and he doesn't want to be in the country, so. We have to wait a little bit, because uh, it's just September. Hey Seven, can you come out here real quick? What was your, your first day of sugar freedom like today? Um, it felt like most, it felt normal. You didn't eat anything? I had I had a I had a donut from Dove. Oh, that was your birthday present. Yeah. What's your plan for eating sugar in the future? What do you or what do you think is going to change now? Um, I'm going to be more careful for probably what I eat, how much I eat of it. Do you think you're going to eat more? Like, are you going to throw yeah. in parties and go nuts? Not necessarily. When Dove breaks out the candy, are you gonna partake? Yeah, or if she offers me some, I'll have it. Probably. Come here, you want a scratchy scratchies? We haven't done this in a long time. Do you remember this? Look. They go like this. Are you ready? Are you looking at me? Look. Here you go. Oh, he's like fighting scratchies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, you don't like it. Look. Look, it's data. Oh, nice. Look. Scratchies. Arr, scratchies. <laughs>